Hello, this is Hawk and Bean, and today we are going to be reading Backrooms Level 777, which looks to be a lot of casinos. <sighs> if you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. And also, be responsible with, and you go to a casino. Don't ever take the double or nothing deal. Let's get right into this. Survival or difficulty, class undetermined. Mysterious properties, unknown information, undocumented entities. And I'm not going to be opening the extra links because, as you can probably tell from here, it's already way too long as it is. Level 7 N77 is a street line with casinos, all of which gamble to extremes. Whew. Description Level 7777 it consists of a street which is lined all around with casinos. The street itself is rather short, only being 14 kilometers. That's a long street, but okay. Buildings line these sides and, and mark the end. Ends of the street. There are no alleyways, and any attempts to climb over the buildings to access the other side have all failed. All buildings are able to be entered, and all are much larger on the inside than on the outside. When you first enter level 70, 777, then you will find yourself inside of a building labeled as the lobby. The lobby is the smallest building on this level. Being an average sized lobby, when leaving, you can also use the lobby as long as you aren't indebted. The lobby is built to resemble a regal entryway with sitting areas. This area is considered a gateway and it is and it is staffed by human-like entities who work to assist you in any way possible. <sighs> Once you exit the lobby onto the street, you will notice many casinos all around you. Every casino has high stakes, but for you go down the street, the higher the stakes rise. There are other humans around, however, where they all appear to be husks with no will to do anything other than gamble. Despite this, these husks will still have a will to live, to win, along with their will to live. The dealers follow in this oot and tend to play to their advantage. Here we have a part of the lobby, a group of slot machines inside of Cheshire. Your casinos, and a casino once named Tokyo Poker, whereabouts are currently unknown. Very few of the casinos stay permanently on this level. Sometimes a casino may simply disappear within the blink of an eye. It will be replaced immediately with a new casino, which varies from the original casino. This can happen and even with people inside. Therefore, if a casino is not listed below, it may be dangerous to enter the casino. Sometimes these casinos may return, however, they will not have any traces of the people who were once in there. Or before, it is assumed anyone who disappears is dead. Well then. Every casino has a unique property of a reality bending capabilities. These capabilities are able to manifest any objects inside the back rooms. Money is rarely gambled, as many prefer to gamble things such as body parts, precious memories, or their own lives to raise the stakes. Because of this, level 777 is useful if you need to obtain an item quickly. Oh yeah, trade your life for an item. Great idea. Depending on what casino you go to, you'll find different dealers and are able to bet to different are able to bet to different amounts. The casinos outside of the lobby are considered the safest, as they bet materials, food, and water. They have the least traffic, and they hold no regards to the deal. However, the further you go down the street, the more cas the casinos rise in stakes, from memories to body parts to public humiliation to even complete slavery. Here are the known casinos, starting with the low ranking. Low ranking casinos are some of the first you can enter. Other than Big Three, as these as such, these casinos are fairly low ranking and never have a signature. Zakia slots. 
Zacchaeus Lotz is a low-risk casino in which gambles may have never risen beyond the stakes of food and water. Many of the dealers are friendly, and no one here has a poker face. Because of this, it is recommended you come here if you have skills at gambling, in order to raise the amount of materials you have. If you frequent this casino, many other casinos will hold you in low regard. Some of the higher-ranking casinos may deny you entry. Zacchaeus Lotz is open to anyone on the floor who still owns Owns their own lives. Zachary's yeah, slots have no signature, as it is, is likely this will be his first casino you visit on this floor. Cheshire Casino is a somewhat middle rank casino, open to uh, only open to those who prove they can ha they have adequate skills in gambling. As words for it's quickly having a good win to loss ratio in any low ranking casino is enough to get you into Cheshire's casino. The only gambling materials, therefore, and this is yet another safe option. They specialize in slots, so they do have poker and roulette. This casino has no signature. Middle ranking. Middle ranking casinos have higher stakes, and are some of the more ca most ca available casinos available. These casinos all require some adeptness and have an entry requirement. They all have signatures available. Insanity e Classics. Insanity e Classics is a casino which is held in somewhat high regards, and is one of the first casinos you'll encounter with the stakes beyond materials. The highest stake you'll find here is a minor body part, such as chunks of fat or fingernails. In order to get entry, you must be able to gamble and win against every dealer inside of Cheshire's casinos. Insanity e Classics specializes in blackjack and has no other games. This signature is the game known as Insanity Blackjack. Insanity Blackjack is a modified version of Blackjack, which follows very much a suit in suit with Blackjack. However, it ties in some new rules, which revolve around secrecy. For one, and your hand is your opponent's hand, meaning that if you hold a 21, you have a high chance of losing. The gameplay revolves around convincing your opponent that their hand is bad by bluffing. As you have no way of knowing your total value, and only being able to know of one of your total cards, every hit you take is a risk. When you hit, your opponent gains one card, which is added to your own total. This card stays hidden, and only your opponent knows it. Once hands have been established, the bang phase begins. The bang phase consists of raising, folding, and calling all of which are done normally. In order to participate, you must give in, in a call, which is decided at the dealer's leisure. The game takes place over three rounds. It can be played with up to four players, and collusion is against the rules. Whoever wins a round takes all the bets already put in by their opponents. Whatever a bet is placed is considered place, meaning it is irreversible. Merlin's Beard Merlin's Beard is the highest ranked casino in the middle ranks. The highest stake here, the body part or the body of an, any entity. The time period for or gathering an entity is typically one year. If you fail to capture the entity in time, you will be considered uncooperative and be put into servitude. Servitude at Merlin's is typically lax, mostly consisting of doing standard jobs such as cooking and cleaning. Once in servitude, you cannot leave level 7770. To gain entry, you must be able to beat a dealer at the door. There are three to choose from, all of which play poker. If you lose, you must wait three months before attempting to enter once more. Roland's Beard specializes in poker and has been known to be rather ruthless. The only other game offered at Roland's Beard is a signature, which is Tarot Poker. Seems like a bad idea. Tarot Poker is a revamped version of poker using only three cards instead of five. The cards are equal and value to their respective numbers, and the highest card wins if both hands are pigs. Tarot Poker has three main multi hands, which are hands that have higher value by default, no matter the high card. Two in a row. This hand is rather simple, simply holds two tarots which are next to each other in value. Three in a row. This hand is difficult to form, and is made up of three in a row. The Fool's Curse. This hand and consists of any hand with the Fool. It is considered higher than in three in a row. 
Reminder for those who, who either are not Persona fans or forget at, at what the Fool is in tarot of cards. The Fool is, is number zero and is considered the card in tarot that has the most potential. There are some hands known as special hands. These all hold the same value and are extremely rare to get. There are quite a few, five of which are listed below. Hell's Hand, a hand consisting of the Hanged Man, Death, and the Devil. The Universe, a hand consisting of the Moon, the Sun, and the Star. The Royal Court, a hand consisting of the Empress, the Emperor, and High Priestess. The Tower of Death, a hand consisting of the Tower and Death. The World, a hand consisting of the World. It is said that when you put all the tarot cards in order from 0 to the final one, I think 22, you will get a story of a hero who starts out as a fool and eventually gains the world as a result. Tarot poker, tarot poker takes place over 1 turn, 5 turns, or 22 turns at dealer's leisure. Folding, raising, and calling all work the same. The participation fee is at dealer's leisure. You should not participate in this. The Big Three. The Big Three are the most dangerous casinos available on level 777. They all have, they all have extremely high stakes. Every dealer is a master in their game. They all are accessible to anyone, but be warned, they don't hold back. Error 101 underscore delete. Error 101 underscore delete is a high ranking casino that it, and is considered the weakest of the big three. It has a high reputation and following the rules of the big three allows entry to everyone. This casino is widely re regarded for the unique glitch stake. Should you take this stake, the highest one offered at, at this casino, you'll be risking your existence and could become a glitch. I'm not clicking on that because it's probably a creature. The casino offers many signatures, but the main signature it, it holds is Glitch Roulette at Era 101 and delete is known for its frequent glitches when in this casino you know the floor or may shift and you may even no clip into a random floor. The entire casino glows a vibrant blue and with a, a black pop. The dealers here frequently glitch and are difficult to focus on. The CEO of Error 101 underscore delete CC is a member of the Morgana Council. I imagine a lot of this is based on the Morgana Council, given what we saw at the top. Glitch Roulette is a very complicated game, which only he is fully understood by the CEO himself. Glitch Roulette uses a roulette table, which has around 40 modifications, only six of which are identified for reasoning. Glitching numbers, some of the numbers glitch throughout the board during the time period in which the dot ball is spinning. Glitched colors. The colors appear to be completely random, promoting luck. Weighted balls. The balls shift weight during the course in an unknown way. Breaks. Randomly, the wheel may simply glitch and give up, stopping the ball in its tracks. Anti-gravity flip. The entire table turns upside down, which appears to make the ball switch directions. Roar stop underscore stop under execute. At any point, a game may end displaying the, the words stop execute. I just read that. I'm not trying to read that again. If this does not seem to be weighted to any player's favor and typically makes the game random. Some other modifications include the table disappearing, the ball disappearing, this, the dealer disappearing, the bet suddenly changing against your wheel, the floor collapsing underneath the table. Under these modifications, the game plays normally to roulette and will likely end with the Dealer winning. Celebrity Showdown. Celebrity Showdown is a very unique type of casino with very high stakes. The most typical stakes is eternal public humiliation and loss of all unnecessary limbs. Many famous people from level 777 gamble in this casino and have many fans amongst a crowd of gamblers. 
The CEO of this casino, Stretch Zemos, is a very esteemed member of Level 777 and is a member of the Morgana Council. Throughout the casinos, games will be made on the dime, all related to acting in some way. Therefore, you, every game on this floor is considered a signature. However, the most common signature played by all celebrities is Heart Love Poker. Heart Love Poker is a three-round turn-based game similar to poker. However, instead of using chips, people are used whose win and play. You can bet as many people as you own the rights of. This game... It's used by higher ups in order to exchange rights and have fun with the lives of others. Before starting, all players that will be bet have an evaluation notice, which consists of physique, looks, skills, and talents. The ranking is placed on a table from 1 to 100 and is distributed accordingly. The game plays are normally with one exception, which is hard cards hold higher value than normal cards. This means they're that all hands which are equal will be using cards as high card instead of standard or number high cards. And if eight, the person with the most hearts wins. And finally, we have Morgana Casinos. Morgana Casinos is a casino which has been known to have the most reality bending properties of all the other casinos. They have knowledge on virtually any gamble, and dealers are incredibly harsh, even with gambles proposed on the spot, not by the player. Morgana Casinos have proven knowledgeable of these gambles. Morgana Casinos holds many mysteries and many more potentials. It is currently unknown if it is even possible to beat some of the players, such as the President. The stakes inside of Morgana Casinos are incapable of being low, with them being either your most prized memory of your life, oh, or your most prized memory or your life. Sorry, I did not read that right. I was a little bit lost there. The house seems to have access to virtually any funds and are capable of the many powerful summonings. Within Morgana Casinos, the Morgana Council can be found. The Morgana Council consists of the seven most powerful entities on level 777. They technically have no signature, however, they do have the coin, the coin flip of fate. The coin flip of fate is the ultimate game of luck. All other forces are stopped whenever this play, game is played. The dealer flips a coin with both sides up at the same time. When flipped, we'll have exactly a 50% chance of landing on either side, heads, or tails. To clarify, the visitor of end of when it is thrown has no effect on the game. The wind has no effect on the game. The force of gravity has no effect on the game. No external forces have any impact on the game. This is essentially the most fair game ever. Due to its 50-50 ratio, the only bet allowed in this game is your life. Whoever doesn't win will be executed. The coin flip of fate is known for being completely fair. Therefore, every Morgana a council member has won the game at least once. Morgana casinos are known for two other main things. The tarots are all from this casino, alongside the tarot room. The other known thing is the entrance to 777.1, which is the gambling labyrinth. The Morgana Council. The Morgana Council is set of seven entities, all of which are extremely powerful and able to bend reality to their will. The seven members are held in high regard by everyone on this floor. They all have extremely low varying personalities. The list of members are as follows. Rhea Max. Physician, Council Secretary. This member is known for being a cyberpunk goth who is extremely invested in poker. This member can be seen both in, in both Morgana Casinos as well as Air, Air 101 underscore Delete. They have been and known to be rather manipulative and accept any challenge. A minor reality bending ender is considered one of the most or difficult members to beat. However, they have some of the weakest reality bending abilities of all the members, therefore, using this member for any big deals is unadvised. 
Rio Max claims her favorite game is Memory Russian Roulette. Because of this, Rio Max has very few memories of their past life and is known to live the moment. Memory Russian Roulette is a unique game invented by Rhea. It is also their signature, meaning they are very experienced in its play. The game follows similarly to Russian Roulette, however, instead of a gun, a wire gun is used. The wire gun is filled with an unidentified fluid with no connections to memory worms. The liquid looks similar to a rainbow or kaleidoscope and is easy to get lost in. The gun itself shoots off with a 1 out of 6 chance, equal for all members at play. It shot into your head and immediately seeps into your head and targets your most prized memory. Once done, it will take it and remove it from your head forever. Afterwards, you will know you lost a prized memory, bringing many to deep shame and depression. The thing about removing memories that always kind of terrifies me is that that means that you remove any memories that I have of myself remembering the memory. And that is a lot of memories. Stretch Zimals. Position. Head of Public Relations. A well-known figure on level 0777. He's known to be the most famous celebrity on his level, largely due to his place as CEO of Celebrity Choda. He identifies as an actor and typically stars in action movies. He is his own double stunt. He is especially experienced in many forms of gambling, though his signature is Pen Pals Deluxe. As someone with a reality bender, this member has high influence on many of the gambles which take place, both in Morgana Casinos and Celebrity Showdown. He is a formidable gambler and can be challenged lightly. He is the only council member who shows compassion, despite showing very little of it. Swatch's favorite game is anything involving roulette. He, so he, he, he also occasionally visits error 101 underscore delete in order to play Blitz Roulette. Pen Pals Deluxe is a very unique form of roulette. Much similar to Glitch Roulette, though, the premise is very much different. Pen Pals Deluxe is a team game, and it takes place with four players. It's, the game consists of three rounds, each with each, which each have their own turn order. Throughout the game, you will be required to bet high. However, this doesn't mean lives or memories. This means relations, which is the most complicated part of this, this gamble. Should your, should your team lose Pen Pals Deluxe? Uh, you will instantly lose all connections to a person in your life. They will lose their relation to you as well. This doesn't mean you are no longer able to contact them, however. You will not remember them. Stretch Zimaz is undefeated in this game. CC. Position, Council, or Treasurer. CC is a very unique form of glitch as Z is known to gamble in error 101 underscore delete quite often instead of undergoing the full position of becoming glitch, Z became half a half glitch, making Z much more powerful and as a much more formidable gambler. Z quickly rose in ranks and is one of the most esteemed council members of them all. Z's skills are rivaled by the Overseer, and Z is known to be a very powerful reality bender. Ranking next to a president. Z's signature is Poker Glitch Execute Program Delete. However, Z is well versed in any gamble. Z is somewhat kind and compassionate towards other, though this appears to be facade. Poker underscore glitch underscore execute program delete is a unique game of poker which can only be played between two people, one of whom must be CC. The loser of the game will become a glitch in all cases, with the exception being CC, CC himself. The game is similar to poker, however, much like glitch, like it has many unique glitches, all of which affect the game. The understanding glitches include. Sheesh. Cards randomly disappearing from your hand. This can happen at any time at random. If this happens before the drawing phase, the cards will be given to you afterwards. However, a card disappears during the editing phase, that card will be considered forfeit. 
A straight is impossible to achieve if this happens, so be wary. Chips disappearing or reappearing. This seems to jumble up the gambling a lot. It makes bets ultimately random. If all your chips disappear, your opponent will be at a severe disadvantage as you will be betting very little while they bet high on the same stakes. Values of cards changing suddenly. At any point, any cards that are in your hand or your deck may change to a different value. These typically follow the deck rules, however, there is a chance and unique cards will come into play. A wild is considered a good card, as it represents all values at once simultaneously. This part affects gameplay the most. New cards appear in your hand. This only happens during the betting phase. This makes straights more common and overall increases your chances of winning. Throughout the game, sometimes the dealer may simply call off, call the game off, which happens about 5% of the time, though it is presumed that the dealer was, was affected by the glitching poker. It is advised to avoid this game at all costs. Typically, the dealer has no favoritism of simply plays to win for the house. However, one part to be considered is that CC loses nothing by losing, meaning Z can bet as high or low, oh, and take as much risk as possible with no repercussion. Okay. Mariano. Physician Council Cleaner, a less known figure on level 777, he is a full on dog. He achieved this by gambling and winning. His primary purpose is to clean up the misdoings of the council and to make their reputation appear as it, at its highest status. A formidable gambler, he should not be challenged lightly, as he is a dog and it is hard for him to play many gambles, which is why his signature is Color Chaos. He can be incredibly manipulative, both inside and outside of gambles, and will get violent to carry out his duties. Sheesh. Color Chaos is a simple yet challenging game. The point of the game is simple. Simply choose the color of the nine available and match it up with the color of the dealer's chosen color card. There are nine in total, plus a tenth black card. Should the dealer choose either one of your cards to be picked, the game ends and the winner is chosen based off the correct color. Should a color not up match either player, a new round shall begin until it does. The black card, when drawn, will end the game in a draw and the dealer will collect the winnings. This game is largely luck based, which is why it is Mariano's signature as he is colorblind. After a card is drawn every round, the deck is reshuffled in order to keep the game fair. Breed Nimble Ear Physician, Council Overseer Very little is known about Bree, however, she is the least likely to accept gambling challenges. Her primary purpose on the Council is to oversee any gambles taking place between esteemed members. She is widely acknowledged as the most neutral councilwoman and the most trusted. Whenever she does decide to gamble, she is known to be an expert in tarot cards. Her signature is not a game, but rather a prediction, known as life or death. She is a cunning individual and is not afraid to take the scalp of another. Life or death is similar to classic tarot card predictions. However, Free has made that the results are random. The prediction and it's done by Bree and oh the and will only be played with the higher archon. The element of surprise in this game is the fact that any prediction and made will come true, no matter the result. For example, we took a lot of common combination of tarot's, the fool and the level of the lover and the lovers. If this is to happen, you'll end up falling into innocent love. Be warned, this event cannot be reversed and will impact your life. It cannot be avoided, and the only alternative is euthanization, which can only work part of the time. The Vice President Physician, direct assistant to the President The name of this individual is unknown. They are impossible to comprehend and typically appear as a state of mind. The direct inclusion of this council member in this document is nearly impossible. The vice president has no signature, however, they are the only ones unauthorized to serve the coin of the coin flip of fate. The president, 
The president is the most mysterious person on the council. They, it, them is currently unknown, and they, it, them, they could uh, be functionally anything. However, we, we, we currently have for ten, four potential egos, with all of which differ majorly. The Mangler. Position. Former council cleaner. This member used to be the council cleaner, but due to outside circumstances, this member is now deemed useless and is considered dead. Before this happened, this member was a half mangled. They had long legs and acted similar to a mangled, with the exception of being fully sapient, similar to a human. We better not. The presidents. The four current proposals are listed below. Keep in mind the presidents cannot have a signature, which is why no signature is present. The presidents is or are a supreme gambler, and none have ever lost a gamble. The presidents may be multiple entities or a single entity. There is also the, pres the possibility the president may not exist. Proposal 1. Double type. CC is an unknown entity who was Earth from the Council Treasurers is halfway done glitch state. Due to this process, as absorbing a large amount of power, CC will become a Cheshire. In this state, the Cheshire has a supreme amount of power, a, amount of control over Morgana casinos and can commit virtually anything to their will. Due to CC's unique state, Council Treasurer CC should never be informed of CC's state. Within the state as a Cheshire, CC's Hours are drastically limited. However, in the state, they are also virtually in the, a feeble in gambling. If CC were to gain the, the power necessary to leave their Cheshire state, they would likely be able to have full control of the back rooms. He might even have the power to go to the front rooms. However, due to the, pot the potency of his Cheshire state and the 0% chance he has of, of becoming a full fledged human, this is, is unlikely to ever occur. Current estimated age is 117. Proposal 2. A simple gamble girl. Currently, it has no name, however, this does not make them any less of a good gambler. She was once a wanderer, however, once she stumbled upon level 777, she quickly grows in rankings and beat the former president in a gamble. She was quickly she was able to quickly rise in power after this, and is now recognized as one of the most influential people in the backrooms, who amasses supreme power. Her current goal is to completely destroy the backrooms. She believes that if she destroys the backrooms, she will be able to return and back to her home in the front rooms. She currently she is doing she is going through very well with this procedure. She is incredibly manipulative and can easily end one's life if she sees fit. She is vulnerable, but she uses gambling to her advantage. She is a potent reality bender, and as such, she creates that expunge by the Meg. This does lead somewhere. It leads to Object 100, which we should look into another time. In order to protect herself, she is a supreme gambler, and she rarely accepts gambling challenges, saying that she has no use for filth. Current has made age. 24. Proposal 3. Double-Edged Sword Kony and Neko are twins, both of whom amass incredible power on level 777. They are masters of gambling, and together they are unbeatable. They tend to dress the same and as such are indistinguishable from each other. Their origins are unknown and they reveal very few details about themselves. However, they have they both have a, have a thirst for human lives, and will gamble at great lengths to own souls, to own the souls of others. They have the unique capability of being able to take the souls of others, which they typically use for entertainment. Kony and Neko both have the unique capability of being in total sync with each other. They have a telepathic connection, which allows them to collude and gamble much easier, without risk of opponents noticing. Beyond that, they both are masters at Idris, and can recognize others cheating. It's impossible to tell whether or not they are speaking telepathically. Therefore, this is a most advantage ability. Kony and Neko both represent the parts of an animal. 
which are that cat and dog, respectively. I mean, I kind of already assumed that it was going to be cat. However, they switch often, which further contributes to the way they both are interchangeable. At current estimated age, 12. Proposal 4. Ali's Single Chip. Ali's Single Chip is an object which matches a high amount of aura, and as such, it is considered a present. This chip will represent a single bet, equaling anything as long as the value is saved. For anything, saying that the bet is your life will cause the bet to equal all bettors' lives. It is a highly respected chip and requires a council member in order to be used. Every gamble it is used for increases its strength as well as its potency. Current estimated age is unknown. Ali blessed us this gift and we shall cherish it. Cherish it. Jeez, I can't say anything. Basis, outposts and communities. The gamblers. This group consists of about 150 to 200 wanderers, all of whom are invested into gambling. Some of them gamble at lower rank casinos, some at higher end, but they all gamble. They rarely leave the floor, and some of them become slaves to the casinos. Mega Outpost. A mega outpost is established in the hub. It is, it's rather small and serves as a warrant for new wanderers, which lets them know what to expect. Beyond that, they observe proceedings with which happen during gambles. Entrances and exits, and once again, the formatting is really weird. Entrances. Level 777 is unique because it can be accessed through an, on, through an entrance. Only one with a will to gamble for the sake of gambling can make their way to level 777. Beyond that, only one an entrance has been noted, which is extremely difficult to follow all through with. Once you go to level 98, you can locate a man who is known for having a missing eye covered by an eye patch. Occasionally, a tentacle may poke out of the eye patch. If you ask this man to gamble, he will gamble with you. His skills are slightly under the Morgana Council, so be warned. Do not challenge him lightly. Should you win, you will appear directly outside the Morgana Casinos. If you lose, he will simply ask if you wish to play again. He gambles as low, never more than a bot. Auto of Almond Water. Should you decide not to play again, you return at any time to gamble once more. <sighs> Exits. There are many ways to exit level 777. However, the most simple way is to simply leap through the lobby. This will cause you to either emerge in the hub or level 0. Some middle ranking casinos will transport you to specific levels should you win. If you gamble to leave level 777 at any of the casinos in the big 3, they will transport you to level 4. Entering the tarot room without permission may cause you to emerge in level 6, though this only happens about 20% of the time. When playing glitch through roulette, sometimes you may glitch to random level for no reason. The same flat is to poker underscore glitch underscore execute program delete. When playing pen pals elect, if you lose the sight of the relationship being ever, you'll be transported to a random quantum stable level. Come on now. That was level 777. A street with a lot of casinos for you to gamble things that you really shouldn't gamble. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!